Event listeners allow you to run code when a user performs a certain action. For example, when the user clicks New Document, an event listener could trigger code to save the currently active document. To set up your event listener, you need to start by creating a new macro. It is okay to delete all of the SW app references in the main module because they're not required. To create an event listener, you need to create a new class module. And here's the only really tricky step in setting this up. You need to get the syntax correct. Private with events SW app as SLD works dot SLD works. Once that's typed in, the pull downs change, and now I can select class. Once that's selected, the initialize method shows up. In here, we need to set SW app equal to application dot SolidWorks to get access to all of the SolidWorks handles. Next, on the left pull down, we'll select SW app, and it will create a file open notify function. On the right pull down, you can choose File New Notify, and in here I'll type the code swapp.sendMessage to user. This is just a message box to indicate that this listener is in fact working. The message can say whatever you want, and you can delete the file open listener if it's not used. Finally, rename the module to something more suitable. Returning to the main module, you need to declare your event listener. Here I'm calling it dim event listener as class events. That's the name I gave to the class. Then I need to set it to a valid inset instance. So I set event listener equal to new class events. I press F5 to run this code. Now the event listener is in progress. So I'll return to SOLIDWORKS and click New. When I accept my new part, my message box pops up with the message that I typed in and my send message to user. Mm -hmm.